Hello. Thank you for taking part to this webinar. I am Davide from uh, Tailuk speaking, and uh, I announced that uh, we are starting our webinar in uh, two minutes' time. Okay. Okay, here we are. Thank you again for taking part to this webinar. I introduce myself, I am Davide and I've been working with Technobit for some years. Technobit is a software house placed in uh, close to Vicenza in Bassano del Grappa in northeast of Italy and is uh, working on the market for more than uh, 30 years. And Technobit is the owner of the brand Tyluk. Uh, I guess uh, uh, some of you, they already know uh, our brand Tyluk, but uh, uh, I will uh, do a little introduction for the ones who have no, uh, who doesn't know uh, the, uh, this brand. And uh, I uh, resume a little bit uh, what we are going to see during this webinar. During our webinar today, I would like to create with you a complete uh, a project of uh, a little bathroom in a few minutes with our design tool. You see, uh, this is the schedule of our webinar of today. For sure, it will be something very uh, quick because of the time and we are trying to really realize a complete project of a bathroom in a really few minutes creating a room starting from a plan uh, a plan view a drawing and then cover the room with ties and coverings insert objects furniture uh, ceramics then produce a uh, perspective and panoramic rendering and uh, um, complete our offer with uh, prices, details, quantity, and at the end, uh, realize and create a nice PDF presentation to submit to our uh, potential end consumer, to an architect, to a designer, or to a prospective final client. Then I would like to see with you how we can share our projects made by our design tool through our social network or through our Tyluk application. This is very important to share our projects with our contacts, potential customers, uh, architects, designers, and so on. This is very interesting. And at the end, I will present our actual offer concerning our two subscriptions, our two products, Tyluk Pro and Tyluk Studio. So we have these two products available, and there is an offer expiring at the end of October. We are going deep in, uh, we are checking and uh, analyzing in detail this offer that I uh, recommend you not to lose uh, because as I said is expiring on the 31st of October. I hope you can hear me, uh, I, I hope the uh, volume of uh, my uh, microphone is okay, when not uh, there is a chat on the screen so you can leave me your message uh, and advise me then uh, I will uh, try to solve the problem. So, okay, 
this is the schedule uh, of our uh, webinar of today. We try to go quick because I know everybody is very busy. At first, uh, as I said, let me introduce uh, our uh, Tilook, our application, our platform. So Tilook is a platform, is a platform made by two elements, two main elements. An interactive website, tilook.com, and a software for designing bathrooms, living rooms, ambiences, that is named Design Tool. These two elements that are interactive, that communicate, communicate the one with the other, these interactive elements, tilook.com website and our design tool, they create our platform, Tilook. Okay. At first, we will produce, as I said, a complete project let's try to complete a, a project in few minutes time using our design tool our software that is available through our website tilook.com i show you our website this is the website tilook.com you can click on the language here on the right and select the language you prefer and then you can through the uh, website, obtain and download the software for producing bat projects in the 2D, 3D to realize renderings and then to share your project with uh, your contacts, potential and consumer and so on. As I said, the website and the design tool, they are interactive, they communicate together and uh, this is very uh, clever and very interesting. So, uh, first of all, let's try to realize a project, a complete project of a bathroom in very few minutes. In order to uh, realize this, we open our design tool that you can, as I said, you can get through our website on clicking on this button, yellow button for retailers, Okay, you can then create, you can get a free trial of our Tilook design, or you can get a uh, free account, a free account through our uh, website. And through this account, you can accede to many functions. I am acceding with my account. Okay. And through our account, we can obtain our. software you see i change the language into the section of my account i have this button download software this is a free account you can create it for free into our website and then from this section download software you can download the uh, the design software into your uh, computer you can download for both Windows and Mac system. So this is very important. It's very easy to get, very uh, user friendly, very easy to get. And in few minutes, you can get the uh, the software available, and you can immediately start uh, working uh, with your um, with your uh, design tool. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go back to uh, the uh, home page and now 
let's uh, start creating a full project a full project by using our design tool okay so once i download the uh, software then i get an icon by clicking this icon i open our design tool this is the uh, screen the opening screen of the design tool okay our uh, software for designing as i repeat uh, ambiences uh, uh, kitchens bathrooms living room um, no matter uh, which kind of uh, ambience and then we can get uh, at the same time a 2d 3d view of our ambience we can create and produce uh, rendering very easily and then we can obtain from the same uh, software a complete offer with prices quantities and a nice presentation that we can submit to our potential end consumer okay so now let's enter in our design tool by typing our password you will get by mail a user and password this is my password and we enter into our uh, software you can have the software in many languages eh? you can uh, select uh, by clicking on this button here on the upper side you can select the language of your uh, software we have german french spanish italian english and other languages okay let's start for a new project we can we have the possibility of opening an existing project or we can start with a new project with a very new project let's now start with a new project as we want to create a new project from zero in a few minutes so we click on this section new project we have to give a name to our project here you can put the name of your customers your reference in this case i call it web uh 18 10 2022 uh, just uh, a name like a, uh, a reference name you can write the name of your client you can write a description of the project as you prefer then we click next from this section from this section we can download directly into our project 3d objects as accessories furniture stuff, uh, uh, ceramics, uh, doors, windows, a lot of 3D models that we can uh, source from our Tiluk library. When I click on this yellow button, add model, I select load from Tiluk and I open the Tiluk library with more than 29,000 objects available in 3D with correct sizes, descriptions, and everything that can immediately be imported and used into your project. In order to download and to uh, download an object and use it in your project, it's very simple. You click on the yellow button here, for example, when I want to download this specific accessory, download, and this object will immediately be added to your project you see i've downloaded this object and then i can use it in my project i can also download object from my wish list wish list is the list of my favorite objects the object the objects i use the most in my project okay when i click on wish list i find a certain number of object that i can directly download into my project for you these objects are objects that i have found in our tiluk library where i can have 
as I told you, more than 29,000 objects. And then I can directly import into my, uh, into my uh, project, okay? And now I am importing some objects directly from this section. But pay attention, it's not necessary to import the object from this section. You can import also later in any moments of your uh, of your project. Okay. Now I have downloaded some objects, but I can also import my objects later. It's not necessary to do it now. Okay. Uh, as concern the objects, I, another option you can filter the objects by producers. Okay. Here are all the producers that we have in our Tiluk library. For example, if I want an object by the company Agape, I write Agape, I select the company, and immediately I have all the production of the company Agape. I can select by categories, okay, or by or by type of object by uh, categories, by collection, by size, and so on. So I have a filters here that allows me to search the object I prefer. Uh, in order to include an object in my wish list, okay, in order to uh, include an object in my wish list, it's very easy. For example, if I want to include these uh, object this accessory into my wish list it means i to include in a, in the list of my favorite object very easy i only need to click on this little heart here i click on the heart and automatically the object will be included into my wish list you see i click on wish list and here i get my object the wish list, I repeat, is the list of my favorite object, the object I use the most uh, in my project. Okay. Okay, let's go on. So, this uh, uh, operation, this option, is not necessary to do it now, as I repeat. You can do it also later. Uh, so, we can go on and we will import more objects later on. I click next and from this section, I can do the same. I can import ties and coverings for my bathroom. I click on the yellow button, download from Tiluk. And here I can select in between uh, a huge number of uh, products, more than 300, 2,000, 200 ties, coverings, uh, parquet, uh, surfaces. Okay. I can select a lot of product and import directly into my uh, into my um, my project i also have the wish list here where i can include the tiles coverings that i like the most for example i can import some tiles this is my personal wish list the product i use the most uh, in my project for example i can download this one clicking on the yellow bottom download okay and then this one but it's not necessary to do it now we can do it also later no problem okay okay so we have seen tile look uh, the uh, the we have added uh, accessories and coverings for having an idea of the brand we uh, are dealing with in our tiluk library you can go to the website okay you go to the website and you select the i change the languages Okay, and select, sorry,
you can go to the website, select the menu products, brands, and by clicking brands, you immediately have the list of all the brands included in our Tiluk library. Here you see more than 500 brands of bathroom accessories, furniture, coverings, tiles, marble, parquet. In between, you have here you have all the brands available. From all these brands, we have the library available in our Tiluk. So you use, you can use in our, in your design tool, you can use the, uh, you can use the, uh, the, the products. Okay, you can use the products as we have the library, the 3D elements and the coverings of uh, made by these uh, by these companies. You can filter also the brands by categories, countries, or in alphabetical order, okay? So here you have the list, complete list of all the brands included in our Tiluk library. Go back to our project and go on. Next, in this case, we are going to uh, design our room. We have to select the, sh the, sh the shape of our room. Here you have some pre-selected shapes. We select the squared one, and we, we are then uh, realizing our projects. We are going to realize a bathroom with this with this detail. Okay. We have a uh, plan. A bathroom, a room made uh, 340 centimeter wide and 280 centimeter deep, with the door, okay, with the door and the front face. On the back wall, we have a windows, 90 by 160, at 70 centimeter to floor, and then here we have a door, 220 centimeter wide and 90 centimeter high and 90 centimeter wide, okay, 220 high and 90 centimeters. This is a simple plan that maybe a potential and consumer, a potential customer bring to our showroom, to our uh, studio, and he asks us to uh, prepare a project for him. Okay, so let's now uh, realize based on this uh, on this design, on these uh, plans, let's produce a project for our potential end consumer. So we have seen that we have to need, we need a room 340 by 280 centimeter. Okay, so go back to our project. We finish, and we have here on the left side we have our 2D view, the 2D view of our rooms. Okay, you see three meters by three meters. Okay, but we have seen that our room is bigger than the one is 3 meter 40 by 2 meter 80 so now we are uh, modifying our room and we make it bigger we click on this red button move and let's make our room bigger 40 centimeter because it's three under i need it to be 340 centimeter Let's click apply and the door, the room is become 340 centimeter. Okay. As you can see, the same happens here on your 3D preview on the right side. All the action I'm producing on my 2D view, they automatically repeat on my 3D preview. Okay, let's now make the depth of the room uh, smaller because we have now 300 centimeter and our room is 2 meter 80. So we move in vertical and we write minus 20 centimeter. Apply and we get a 280 centimeter. Okay. So we have modified the size of our room. Um, 
I invite you for all this function to have a look to our video tutorial. We have a full set of video tutorial available through our website. When you click on a website, retailers, Okay, sorry, on website, you click on on my request. Okay, and you find all a set of uh, all a set of uh, video. Of video tutorial I show you you can find it also in uh, in Facebook eh? sorry in uh, in in uh, YouTube in YouTube channel in YouTube channel you have uh, the Tyluk uh, the Tyluk uh, um, full selection of uh, um, of uh, video tutorial okay now I I, I wanted to Okay, you click on four retailers, the website for retailers, and then you have videos here. You have a selection videos, and here you get the complete set of video tutorial that explain and uh, allows you to uh, learn the how to. Uh, to uh, work with our design tool. You have full free access to our tutorial video. So I recommend for any function, go in this section, video, and you search for the video uh, concerning the specific uh, uh, argument. Uh, they are very quick video, they are very user friendly, and you can learn a lot by uh, watching uh, this video. Okay, now we have uh, we have designed our room. Let's now uh, add a, a windows because we have a windows in our uh, wall. So we click on the wall here, this back wall. Autom automatically, we get the 2D view of the wall in the left side, and we use the function add window and door here on the right side we have the function add window and door we click on this function and here we can include a window i go quick because of the time for sure i just wanted to show you uh, how to to produce this project then for all the specific uh, function i repeat uh, you can uh, go and visit our tutorial video uh, our windows is 90 centimeter wide 160 centimeter high we can edit the sizes of the window eh? no problem and we can uh, install it in the middle of the room at 70 centimeter from the ground okay you see we have added our window exactly as per our design here okay so we are trying to uh, to, um, to 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 design in the room uh, as per our end consumers plan. Okay, now let's add the door to this part. We add the door. So instead of the window, we had the a door. The door is. 90 centimeter wide and 2 meter 20 centimeter high apply and we have got our door okay we have completed our room uh, our little bathroom we have designed our room and then we can start now to cover our rooms with tiles and uh, uh, coverings okay so we move from the function tab create room we are now in this function tab, create room, where we have the 2D view and the 3D view on the right side. You can also change the view eh? by clicking on the yellow icon on the underneath. You can change the view of your room. Okay. You can also move by dragging the mouse into your 
room. All the function, all the changements you produce on the 2D view, they automatically will repeat on the 3D view. So now we move to layout tiles as we want to cover our uh, room with uh, tiles and coverings. Now, from this stage, we can download further models. Here we have uh, the two models we have uh, uh, imported at the beginning. We can import other tiles to complete our project. We click on the yellow button, add tiles, download from Tilook. Okay. Sorry, just a moment. There is a problem with the with the line now. Okay. There is a problem with the with the connection. Anyway, we can start using our uh, we can start using our um, our existing uh, tile here so we import for example this tile here into the floor and we have covered our floor okay in which case we can give apply and we have covered our floor okay now uh, let's uh, cover the walls uh, it's very important at uh, this stage uh, uh, it allows you to uh, to um, uh, to uh, modify the uh, coverings and uh, to change uh, the uh, position of the tiles. For example, if I empty this uh, section, I can move back the end and I can uh, change rotate the position of the uh, of the tiles, I can uh, move the position of the tiles. I can change the gap of my tile. It means the little line here in between. I can modify it, selecting another color from this palette of color. For example, if I want it to be in this color, I can apply and I can change the gap okay the gaps setting of my tiles okay empty this let me check one life mode okay okay we can try now we can download other uh, other tiles to complete our uh, our coverings also from uh, I, I i'm going to download from my wish list just to show you how quick is the uh, the work with our i, I download a sort uh, some tiles some products this one this one and this one. Okay, so now I've uh, downloaded some products. Let's try to uh, cover uh, our uh, our bathrooms. I select the surface by clicking on the right side. For example, now I want to cover the floor, so I click on the floor and I drag my tiles on the floor. Okay, I can adjust the gap as you have you have seen before when uh, it's uh, um, okay then just i click apply and then the, uh, the, the 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 ties are confirmed and you can see the preview on the right side 
you can see that preview on the right side, my floor is covered by tiles. Uh, I show you some example. For example, uh, if I want to uh, replace some ties with another one, we have this function here. For example, I select some ties, okay, these three ties. I select this function, change tile type. I select the tile, change the selected ties, I select another ties that has the same size and apply and I've modified and I've replaced, you see, the selected ties with other ties with the same size. Okay, very easy. There are a lot of function and I repeat, have a look to our tutorial video just to learn how to use in the best way this kind of function. Okay. Now let's uh, cover let's cover the rest of the uh, walls. For example, let's cover this wall here. We import these tiles. Okay. Uh, we will place nine lines of tiles. You see, I can add as much line as I want. Eight nine. So eight nines lines of tiles blue when it's okay i give apply and i've covered my wall you see you can also move to render and you see that the uh, the the wall has been covered with these blue tiles now let's color this other area these other walls with uh, with the tiles I import my tile here. I always add nine lines, four, five, seven, eight, nine. Okay, nine lines. But in this case, I will want to uh, to insert a line of ties, a different line of ties, in order to create a, a different uh, effect. I just want to create a strip here in the middle with a different ties. So in this case, I click apply. I select the middle line. Okay, I select the middle line. Always change tile type. And I select this tile with this other one. Apply and I've selected and i've changed i switched my ties with this other one you see so i created this effect it's very easy very very easy let's go on by covering the other wall also with the same with the same hand uh, tile nine lines okay apply the middle i select the middle strip and i and i switch it with this other one so i i change this and these ties with this other one we have completed and decorated our room we can also go and see on the render side we have quickly uh, covered our rooms with our ties you see very easily okay okay uh, once we have uh, completed our uh, room we can add the objects okay so we move to the bottom function button or function tab place object these seven function tabs are the more important tabs of our software they name function tab okay now we have worked with the tile 
layout tiles. Okay. Now we move to place objects, and we import we import objects to use into our uh, into our uh, bathrooms. We can import from this stage, for example, the object, or we can import from our wish list as usual. So I import some objects like this one, this one, this one, some lamps. Okay, I just import some objects to be added to our project. Some objects they take more time because they are more complex. They are three D files. Uh, it's important you can create your own object. Uh, with our uh, software, you can create your own object. Our uh, our uh, software support these kind of 3D files: SketchUp, 3DS, OBJ, .die, and DXF. Okay, these are the objects. Uh, the extension we can import into our uh, into our uh, project. Okay, so these are the extension you can import in our design tool. So you can create your own objects by using one of these uh, project uh, one of these software, and then you can import directly in our uh, in our uh, in our project. Okay. Okay. Now we have imp we import a shower, a windows, okay, then a door. Okay, and then um, this furniture piece and the shower platform. Okay, we have imported some objects that we can now immediately use in our bathroom. Okay, you can change the view of your bathroom. Okay, and then we can install installing our object we click on the object and we drag into our project okay this is the object and we this is the object we can turn it and by using these flashes we can move and place the object where we prefer you see it's very easy, okay? Let's, for example, import now the shower platform. Okay. Maybe we can... We can move it there. Sorry. Okay, we add shower box. It's very user friendly. Uh, all the operation I am doing now, they are very, very 
easy to do. We just need to find the, uh, the hanging points and move the object Okay, this is our shower. Okay, then we can put our uh, ceramics. We will include our ceramics. Okay, you see, this is our ceramics. I can align. The ceramics to the wall so uh, by using this function align objecting rotation to the wall so i click this one this one and i can uh, align the object to the wall i prefer Okay, then you can move the object. Okay. And then another one. I will include another object. See, if I want to align my object to the existing one, I simply rotate my object. I change the hanging points. Okay. And I align perfectly to the existing one. You see, it's perfectly aligned to the existing object. I can move it, I can move my object on the right, and let's say 20, 25 centimeters, apply, and my object is 25 centimeters from the existing one, okay? As you can see, it's very easy to move and to uh, apply objects. Uh, for all this function, I recommend you to have a look to our um, uh, tutorial videos, okay? In our tutorial video, you have the explanation on all this function, how to move, how to hang the objects, uh, how to use uh, these uh, OSNAP, these little uh, uh, dark points named OSNAP. Uh, they can be used to fix the uh, object to uh, another one. Let's include the uh, windows. Okay, now we have the windows. Okay, as you can see, the windows size is too big. It's too big for our. It's too big for our uh, for our windows. Okay, so we have to. Uh, edit our window because our window you remember is 90 centimeter wide by 160 this object is bigger so we need to edit it's very easy just click on this pencil here and we adjust the size of the window so 90 centimeter wide by 160 and we put five centimeter thick okay now my windows is ready and I can place it into my into my wall.
Okay. Now the windows is perfectly aligned with my OR and is perfectly on inside with the, the size of my OR. The same is for the door. Let's import the door. Okay. The door. I rotate the image. If my door is too big, okay, my door is too big because my door is 2 meter 20 I by 90 centimeter wide. So I, I modify the size of my door. I can edit the object 90 by 2 meter 20 and 5 centimeter tip apply. So I have modified the uh, size of my of my door okay and then i can directly include my door you see my door is perfectly at the same size as my as my uh, cutout so i have added i've modified the size of my object in order to adapt it to my ambience okay very easy let's import a lighting Let's import a lighting. Let's import a lighting. Okay. This is a lamp. Okay. Okay, this is a lamp. Okay, we've imported the lamp. We import another one. And see, it's very, very quick to work with this tool. It's very, very weak and very, very user friendly. Okay, I anger. I align my lamp to the existing one and i place here my lamps so i've included two lamps you see at the same height uh, as you can see the lamp is an emissive item it means it uh, is lighting it has a lamp it uh, emitted lamp light uh, this is important because once I produce my rendering, once I produce my rendering, this light is visible, is as a lamp. Okay. How I can adjust this effect when I move to the function tab render? Uh, in this case, I can see my lamps, you see. You see my lamps here, my lamps, they are emissive. It means they emit lights. And this effect will be repeated in my rendering. When I click on this lamp, as you can see here, on the right side, there is a little bulb here that shows me that this lamp is an emissive lamp. It emits lights. It's a switch on. So I will see lights uh, coming from this object. When I want to uh, switch off this light, I don't want to see this lighting effect. It's very simple. I double click on this icon i go on the section emission enable and then i disable the emission 
apply and uh, my lamp will not be an emissive item it will be just a color okay so it won't emit any lights in my rendering i won't see any light emitted by this object when i want to switch on my light double click on the icon emission and then enable apply and then it's again a light okay so you can uh, easily work on these uh, uh, details to give uh, to your rendering an effect uh, by uh, natural lighting or artificial lighting okay now we have completed our uh, our 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 uh, project we can maybe import an accessory as i don't know uh, this one okay maybe we can add some accessories Example this one. A little accessory, yeah, just to, put, to be put here. I don't know. Okay. Maybe we can include this one. And now it's uh, okay. It's just an example eh, to show you where you prefer. Okay, okay. We now have uh, included some accessories, uh, some lamps. Our project is complete. Now uh, we can easily proceed with the rendering. You see, just in few minutes we have completed a project in a 2D version. We have placed our tiles and then we have added our objects the project is complete uh, let's say it's complete we can uh, starting produce our rendering okay uh, in order to produce our rendering we move to the function tab render okay render here we have always our 3d view of our object of our project we can with the mouse we can move into the project and we can select the best view to render okay so the render is as a picture in is the same as in, if you have a, a camera on your hands so you have to find the best position to produce your rendering for example we can use this one as an image you click on cameras and you click add camera this could be an image to be then renderized okay let's move for example on this side and we can renderize this one this image so we add another image here okay once we have selected the image to uh, render then we can click on the bottom render here we have our camera, the camera I've selected, and then we can select the camera we want to renderize. We want to make it rendering, okay? Let's select, for example, the camera one. We can adjust the camera setting. By clicking on camera setting, we can select and decide, maybe we can change the name of the camera. We can decide whether to proceed with a perspective rendering or with a panoramic rendering perspective rendering panoramic rendering the panoramic rendering is the 360 degrees rendering okay i show you an example i show you an example of a three uh, of a um, three um, uh, panoramic rendering a panoramic rendering is for example like this one is a, a rendering where you can mm, 
navigate into the, I just want to show you a nice one. For example, this one. This is a panoramic rendering. When I click on it, I can move into the room, okay? And uh, uh, having a 360 view of the room. It's a very effective rendering. See, you move into the room. This is the 360 or panoramic rendering. This allows you to move into your room, okay? Panoramic rendering. So I have the options to produce both perspective, it means just a simple picture, or panoramic rendering. For sure, the panoramic rendering, it takes more time to be realized because it depends on the, on the capacity, on the performance of your processor, on the complexity uh, of your project, uh, the colors, uh, how many objects uh, you have inside. It depends on many factors, but for sure, the panoramic rendering or 369, it takes more time to be realized than the perspective one. Okay, then you have the, uh, the, um, the camera format and the image size. I suggest you for the first rendering or trial rendering, so before to get the final rendering, just to uh, the, 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 the initial rendering, just to set all the colors, uh, the lighting and so on, I suggest you to use the medium web rendering, so a low resolution as it takes less time to be realized. And once you have set all the colors, lightings, uh, backgrounds, and so on, only when you have uh, set all the, uh, the, the, the specs, then you can uh, go on with the higher, uh, with the higher resolution rendering, like a medium full HD display or the 4K display. Okay, so I suggest at the beginning to start with the medium web just to, uh, to, to, to get the perfect uh, setup of your, uh, of your project. Then you click Apply. Next, from this page, you can adjust the sun position. We have a, a Windows here. Huh? On, on our project, you know, we have a Windows. We can decide the, whether the sun is directly coming through crossing the windows and coming to our room, or to move the position of the sun where we prefer. If I don't want to have it directly, I can move it a little bit just to have an effect like that one so that the sun is coming, but not directly through the windows, a little bit moved. We can decide the effect of the light, so morning, noon, afternoon, evening. So this is the uh, light effect. For sure, if I select the morning, the light will be, uh, or noon, the light will be stronger than evening or afternoon, okay? And then exposure is the quantity of lighting that is coming in a, into our room. I suggest you to let this uh, value as per default, okay? Uh, this is uh, something, uh, um, uh, I suggest you to let uh, as per default, only if you are a very expert on rendering, you can adjust uh, this uh, value as you prefer. But you can leave as per default. Next one, in this case, you can add a background. You can add a background. We have a Windows in our, uh, in our, uh, in our uh, project, and we can decide to add a background to the window, to give a, a more real effect to the uh, rendering. I can select 
the, uh, the, the, the background from a tie look. We have a library uh, of many pictures, as you can see here. Or I can select it from my file. For example, if, if I'm from a personal desk, when I have uh, maybe some, uh, I can have some uh, background, some images, I can use the images from my, uh, from my personal uh, computer. Uh, in this case, let's uh, um, uh, use uh, one of these images, for example, this blue sky. We can download, and this image will be then applied to the windows. Okay, uh, on the back of the windows, we will see this image, this background. Okay, by clicking next, there are the some values of the of the rendering i suggest not to touch these values to let it as per default next and very important in this uh, in this section we can decide to go on with the local render that means the render will be produced by your processor in this case the uh, the, the time of the rendering the duration of the render depends on the power of your of your um, uh, of your uh, graphic card of your processor of the performance of your machine and for sure it will uh, it will uh, uh, affect the performance of your computer because during the rendering time for sure your computer your uh, uh, machine will be lower hmm, because it it's a very heavy process to produce a rendering. You can do anyway with by your local, by your uh, hardware, by your personal hardware, or that this is very important. You have the option to go on with the rendering by using our cloud render. This system allows you to produce the rendering not by using your personal machine, your computer but the rendering is produced by our cent central server by the server of tiluk in this way the rendering process will not affect the performance of your computer in the meantime while the rendering is working you can work you can go working with your uh, processor with your computer without any problem because the rendering has not been produced by you but is produced by our central server okay so i can click cloud render you have an estimated rendering time i click this one and then i click finish and automatically the rendering starts working the render starts working and uh, in uh, in the meantime while the rendering is uh, working i can uh, going on working with my computer okay so we have seen how far and uh, how easy is uh, to uh, produce uh, a complete project okay uh, of our little bathrooms in few minutes and to get uh, at the same time uh, the two view 3d view and the rendering you see the rendering is now working but i can keep working with my uh, processor without any problem because this rendering is going to be uh, produced by our cloud by the server of tiluk is not affecting your processor okay okay uh, let's see other option hmm? uh, do you remember our our schedule we are now uh, we are a little bit late but anyway we uh, we want to uh, we have seen how it uh, to produce a complete project with our uh, design tool in few minutes uh, we uh, have seen how to produce perspective and panoramic rendering and now uh, we see how we can get from the same project we can obtain 
directly a, an offer to be presented to our potential end consumer. By clicking on the function tab, price and quantities, I get here the exact quantity, type and description of all coverings and objects I've included in my project. In the real time, my software calculate the quantity and the price of the, all the tiles, coverings and objects I've included in my project. This is very, very important. This allows you to obtain at the same time the project with the rendering that is now working. This rendering is completing okay, very quickly with the background, as you see. And at the same time, you get the full offer, the full detail of the project. This is important because this kind of grids with tiles, objects, then you can add other elements. You can add uh, also add prices of uh, uh, installation. You can, you can edit this section. You can export these, these uh, grid in Excel, in an Excel form, and then edit it. So I click on this bottom, Excel. I can decide to export the tiles quantity and object, both or one of the two. So the the elements I want to offer to my end consumer. So in this case, I uh, decide to export in Excel both the tiles and object details. Next one, you can decide to export the columns you prefer. Okay. You can add brand name, number of boxes. You can add all the values you intend to present in your Excel form. Next, tile section, I decide to present in my Excel form all the tiles I've used in my project. And the same is for the object. Okay. I can decide to present and to export to Excel all the object. When I'm not interested to export the windows and door, maybe I can. I don't drag windows and door, so I will only export these objects. Okay. Finish. And automatically, I'm creating an uh, Excel form. I call it test webinar 10, uh, 18 10 2022. I give a name, will be an Excel file, and I save my file. Automatically, I've created an Excel form. Here I is. Okay. This is an Excel form and I can edit and digit and modify my Excel form as I prefer in order to prepare a complete offer, a complete a detailed offer for my potential end consumer. Okay, very easy. This is a very important. Okay, another option, okay, so we have seen prices and quantities. Another option is to create a full presentation of our project in PDF format to submit to our potential end consumer or to architects or to designers, okay? A very nice presentation in few minutes, very, very quickly. Uh, in the meantime, my rendering is complete, you see. 
the rendering is complete. Okay, we have created very quick rendering. I can decide to uh, to um, to produce other renderings. When I move to cameras, see, there is a little camera here on this image. It means that this image has been renderized. So there is a rendering image for this camera. When I double click, I open my rendering. Okay, I can export this image. Okay, I can use is a JPEG image. Okay, I can save my image in my desk as I prefer. Okay, um, we can produce a nice presentation by clicking on this button PDF. You see this yellow button PDF. This allows you to produce a presentation okay, in a very few steps. For all these functions, I repeat, I recommend you to have a look to our, uh, to our tutorial video, the video you, you uh, find in our website. Okay, in our website, you find a full range of free tutorial video that uh, teaches you how to use all these functions. In the meantime, I'm creating my my presentation. Okay. Okay. I'm creating my presentation by selecting the objects I would like to show in my presentation. Okay. And in a couple of minutes, I can get my presentation ready. I can save it into my desk. We call it always webinar test 10, sorry, 18, 10, 2022 is a PDF file, save, and he generates a presentation, okay, a complete presentation that is very nice and they can be used uh, you can present it to your you see this is the presentation okay this is the presentation with the renderings with the 2d view of our rooms you see with the details of the ties of the products. Here there are spaces for comments. You can add some comments with all the sizes you see. And the details of prices and quantity of all the covering and elements we have included in our project. Have you seen how how fast and easy is to get this, uh, this kind of presentation? Eh? Very, very easily. You can put comments, you can add any other, um, uh, you can use uh, your, uh, your, your, your brand uh, uh, logos and everything. So this we get in a couple of minutes. This is a, a, a tool, this is an image, a presentation that you can submit to your end consumer or to your architects and so on. And at the same time, it's something you can give to installer or fitters or plumbers in order to uh, respect and to, uh, uh, to uh, work uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the working place in the correct way. Okay, we, we get our presentation. Okay, 
uh, that was a little bit uh, a quick overview. Sorry for the, for the beginning with the with the with the white uh, now it has been uh, has been uh, solved uh, we have seen how uh, quick and easy it is to get uh, through our design tool a complete project with a presentation with a rendering with a complete offer in excel uh, containing quantities and uh, prices of the items that is uh, very uh, uh, very easy and very user friendly um, with our schedule you know with our schedule uh, i would like to see to show you how we can uh, share how we can share the project by using our tilook app and uh, our social network for example uh, facebook we have seen that uh, we can produce the panoramic rendering, like this, you see, the panoramic rendering, okay? These are panoramic rendering. In this case, I can share my project, I produce a panoramic rendering. I can share my project by using a social network. For example, Facebook. When I produce a project, when I realize a project, I always ask you first, once you have finished, save it. It's important to save the project clicking on file save as do you want to save the project to files yes i can save the project in both my desk and automatically in uh, our uh, account in uh, in Tilook. I select to add to have this is the name object available. One add is very and two uh, the project will be personal in my tie look in my personal account i have the section my projects and once I save a project, it will be automatically saved, you see, in my account, okay? In my account. I can then open the project and share my project, share my project by using the main social network, WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter and so on. I can share the link to the many social network very easily. Okay. So I open the project and click share. By clicking one of these icons, I share immediately my project in the main social network. Another way, for example, to uh, share the project, once I produce a rendering, a uh, 300 uh, perspective rendering you remember eh? when i i renderize for example i select this one and i need to produce a panoramic rendering now we don't produce the panoramic rend as it takes uh, some times and we have not the times to to wait till the end but once we produce the uh, 
the rendering, we get this kind of image. The panoramic rendering, we get this kind of image. As you can see, this image is not correct. This, this picture is not correct because it's completely wrong with rounded and so on. But this image is the image that is then uh, treated by our software and it became it becomes a 360 panoramic rendering that means that this image is not valid now but if i import this image in facebook for example the software automatically modify it and make it as a 360 degrees rendering image let's see how to do it for example let's let's open facebook this is facebook this is the page of tyluk okay let's publish a photos okay let's publish these photos let's select this image this is this image eh? it's this one this one okay let's select this image and let's import in facebook as you see this image is wrong it's totally wrong but when i publish it okay just a second when i publish it this will become a a 360 degrees okay image let's see i publish the image and in few seconds voila it has become a 360 degrees image when i click on it i can i can move around the image Sorry, just a minute. Okay, you see. This is the image see on Facebook. It's perfectly 300C degrees rendering. Okay. Okay. Another another way to uh, share the image. The, your uh, project is to use our app Tyluk app let's see an example uh, by using my mobile phone Okay, we have we have saved our project. Okay, we have saved our project. So now we can uh, use it and modify when we prefer. Okay, we can 
also scan the um, the, uh, the, 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 the the QR code and to present the project by using our app, our Tiluk application. Okay. Let's now see the the application. Okay, this is my mobile phone you see on the screen. Okay, I show you how it works, our Tiluk application. There is the Tiluk application. You can download it from a Play Store or App Store, Tiluk application. You can select the language. And then you can have a look to all the projects, to your personal projects. I open the projects and you see we find our project, our last project, Web 18 10 2022, is already imported in our in our application. You can see it, see with our rendering is ready. Otherwise, you can select also a 360 degrees rendering. Tie look up. Okay. As you can see, very, very easy. All smart, uh, user friendly. You can share your projects with your contacts, you, with your architects, with your potential end consumers. So you have a lot of way to share the project. Okay, so we have seen a little bit uh, uh, most of the interesting things. Uh, last but not the least, I want to, uh, to uh, repeat and uh, to offer uh, and to uh, propose our offer. Uh, we have an offer right now that is this one. Okay. Okay. Let me check. I close some part. I show you our offer. Okay. This is our offer. Okay. Our offer that is expiring on the 31st of October for the subscription pro and studio the subscription pro 250 euros per year instead of 290 euros sketchup studio at 330 euros per year instead of 390 euros i suggest you not to waste this opportunity uh, the price is very convenient as you can see it's expiring, as I said, on the 31st of October. The difference between Pro and Studio, it consists on the cloud rendering. You have seen that we have the possibility of doing the cloud rendering. Uh, it means the, re the render is not produced by your computer, but is made by our central server, our 
server in Tyloc. This allows you to keep on working without affecting the performance of your computer. Okay. And it allows you to produce very easy rendering, even if your machine is not so performer, because the rendering is then produced by our server. So uh, you can use it when you have some very complex and long uh, rendering to produce. You can use the cloud render. In the meantime, you don't have to wait till the end of the rendering because it's affecting your system. But in the meantime, you can keep on working on your uh, processor, cloud rendering. So the difference between uh, the Subscription Pro and Studio is then in Subscription Pro, you have a limited number of cloud rendering, 30 cloud rendering per month. In the Studio version, you have unlimited cloud render per month. Pro, 30 cloud rendering per month. Studio, unlimited rendering per month. In the pro version, you cannot produce the high resolution, the panoramic rendering. The panoramic rendering cannot be produced with the pro in, with the cloud in the pro version. Okay, the cloud render on the pro version doesn't allow you to produce the 360 degrees rendering. In the studio version yes you can produce in cloud 360 degrees panoramic rendering this is the main difference okay so in the pro version the cheaper one 30 times rendering cloud rendering per month and you cannot produce with cloud the 360 degrees rendering in the studio version you have unlimited rendering cloud per month, and you can, without problem, produce 360 degrees rendering by using our cloud, our central server. Okay, this is the difference. I repeat the offer 250 euros instead of 290 for the pro version, 330 euros instead of 390 euros for the studio version. Very convenient. One year subscription eh? we are talking a one year subscription i think is one of the most convenient price in the market okay we have uh, seen uh, all the points we uh, actually uh, it's uh, uh, for uh, it's 4:50 uh, uh, in the afternoon uh, I hope uh, this uh, rendering, uh, this uh, sorry, this uh, uh, webinar has been useful uh, for you, has given you an idea of our platform, Tyloc, uh, our platform made by our website and uh, our design tool. Okay. Uh, for any questions any doubts, any request of information, do not hesitate to contact our website, our uh, mail address, to send a mail to contact at tylook.com. You see on the screen. Or you can send a mail to my address, davide at tylook.com. We will be more than pleased to answer you, to send all the information you request. You can also uh, contact us through our website, okay? To our website. If you go to the homepage, there is here on the, on the, on the, on the, on the right lower side, this icon is a chat. You can write, all the questions, all the doubts you uh, can have, you send uh, these questions and our team will be more than pleased to answer you in a very, very uh, quick time. Uh, okay, that's all for the moment. Uh, um, I hope to see you soon uh, again on uh, Tyloc 
and I wish you a good job with Design Tool and Tyloo. Thank you for your attention. See you soon. Ciao.